Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be comparing and contrasting the Pi Rosehip Bio Regenerate Oil with the 100% organic cold pressed rosehip seed oil from The Ordinary. I will be sharing details about both products, trying them on my face and then giving you my final thoughts. So if that's something you'd like to see, then just keep on watching. In the spirit of the video, the only thing I have on my face is a lip oil I went for. I'm using the Sugar Rush Lip Oil. That's Tarte's sister brand. This is in the shade Fresh Pressed. I also have the tinted shade Dragon Fruit. And this is a raspberry colour. Really nice, comfortable feeling lip oil. But back to the matter at hand. So I just have clean skin. And I'm going to apply this oil to this side of my face and this oil to this side of my face so we can directly compare them. Let's start with the similarities. Both oils contain 30 millilitres of product. They are both mostly organic. The ordinary one is wholly organic. This one is 100% organic. And this one is 99%. 0.7% organic. So if you were really keen on only having 100% organic products, this one would be for you. They both contain extract from the rosehip seeds. This one is 100% cold pressed rosehip seed oil. This one from Pi contains extract of the fruit and the seed plus rosemary. So this has a couple of ingredients in, whereas this just has the one. So this is 100% cold pressed organic rosehip seed oil. This one, they use carbon dioxide extraction. So Pi explained that even though this is cold pressed, actually the steel grinder creates friction, which creates heat. And actually they claim the average temperature of a cold press process is actually 40 degrees Celsius. And something can be labelled cold press even going up to 49 degrees Celsius, which they point out, not actually that cold. This one has carbon dioxide, which extracts the product. So that process takes place at around 30 degrees. So they claim that this one actually stays fresh longer as a result because there is some kind of oxidization process. Oxygen will be exposed to the oil in this one. And it claims that this one keeps more of the good stuff, 20% more fatty acids it claims. So that leads me to the difference in price. This ordinary one costs £9 or $9.80. Whereas this one from Pi is £29 or $44. They do actually do a 10 mil size of this, which costs £16 or $29. So for 10 mils of this actually costs about a third more than 30 mils of this one. So the price points are very different. This one being much more pricey than this one. However, if you don't use up your products very fast, it claims that this one will stay fresh longer. So you may find it to be worth it. Let's get into the textures. Let's see how they look, see how they apply. So I'll put a little bit of each on my hands. I like to use facial oils as the last step in my skincare routine usually. But just to see how they perform on my skin today, I just have a clean face. I particularly like using them in the colder months, really. Now, the oils are looking different in colour to me. Okay, so this is the ordinary... <laughs> trying not to spill oil on the floor. This is the ordinary one, which is more yellowy, and this is the one from Pi. I think I just caught it on time. I'll apply that one to that side of my face. I guess the colour difference could be due to the fact that... The pie one also contains fruit extracts. This is the pie side, looking very orangey. This is the ordinary oil. This pie side is actually leaving kind of an orangey tint. So if you don't like that, I would recommend using maybe this one at night. However, you could argue it's given my fair skin a healthy glow. 
and the ordinary side is not depositing any color on my skin. Like I say, I usually would only use a facial oil at night. I have oily combo skin. I don't find that oils tend to work well for me under makeup. They tend to break up the makeup. When do you use your facial oils? I'd love to know. This is the pie side. Looking sheeny. Just did about one drop of each. And this is the ordinary side. I'm just going to investigate the textures a little bit further. They're both quite runny in texture. Around the same kind of thickness really. This is the one from the ordinary and this is the one from Pi. I'll just kind of mix those together for my neck. Neck, you are not part of the experiment, but I will just run that excess through the ends of my hair. I have to be extremely careful with hair oil. This is the pie side, the more expensive side. And this is the ordinary side. It's not the most delicious smelling oil. Pie described the smell as potent. I might be more inclined to say pungent. <laughs> they say this smells potent because it is potent. And then the ordinary also mentioned the smell. They say that this has less of a smell to me. And they say that rosehip oils that don't have a fragrance don't because they are refined and then as such lose their benefits. So if fragrance matters to you, if a slightly funky smell might bother you, maybe rosehip oil is not the oil for you. I would recommend marula oil. I do actually compare the Audemars marula oil, which is also affordable, with the drunk elephant marula oil in another video. So if you're interested in seeing that, I'll link it below. Spoiler alert, I preferred the drunk elephant one, which annoyed me <laughs> because it's more expensive. However, actually, initially, I'm actually preferring the more affordable option this time. For some reason, I just think this half of my face looks better. And that is the side that I actually sleep on. So I would expect it to look worse. Do you have a preference? This is one of Pi's best sellers. It is their Rosehip Bio Regenerate Rosehip Oil for all skin types. It has 1,455 reviews on the Pi website and it's got four and almost a half stars. Like I say, you can get that Travel 10 mil if you just wanted to try it out. It claims it's for everyone, no matter how sensitive your skin is, and especially for those with pigmentation, dullness, or fine lines. Our game-changing organic rosehip oil racks up five-star reviews daily. A real multitasker, it tackles blemishes, dry patches, pigmentation, dullness, redness, and even fine lines. No wonder it's a bestseller. Nourishing and highly regenerative, our cruelty-free rosehip oil for the face, sometimes known as rosehip seed oil, is carefully crafted to benefit all skin types. So it says it's gonna to even tone, nourish, brighten and soften. Sometimes nature just hands it to you on a plate when creating the best rosehip face oil. They're claiming their methods make it superior to cold pressed oils and the fact that they're using the whole fruit which gives it its deep color. So again, they're not total dupes. This one does have more ingredients. It doesn't say what quantities the ingredients are in, but the main ingredient is rosehip seed extract. The next one is rosehip fruit extract. Finally, rosemary leaf extract is in here as well, and it's got that CO2. The reviews are looking great. People are saying their skin feels fantastic. You only need a little bit, and you are left glowing and hydrated. I don't think it looks bad. I honestly just prefer the initial glow of the ordinary side for some reason. I'm not too sure why. Let's see what the ordinary are saying about their product. So this is the 100% cold pressed rosehip seed oil. This has a four and a half star rating on the ordinary website from 284 reviews. It is described as daily support for all skin types. Again, just the one single ingredient here, the cold pressed rosehip seed oil, which is rich in linoleic acid and vitamin A, all of which they're saying degrade under heat extraction and the cold pressing preserves the quality of the oil. Now it's quite funny because they're basically saying, oh, this is better than heat extracted oil. And they're saying, this is even better than cold press extracted oil, which is quite funny. But I do advise you to store this in a cool, dark place 
and this is already stored in a UV protected bottle so that's worthwhile thinking about considering where your skincare is stored maybe keep this one in a drawer or cupboard so it's not exposed to light thank you to the ordinary for taking care of it for us our rosehip seed oil is completely unrefined and imparts a natural scent partly due to its high omega fatty acid content the scent is not an indication of rancidity so that's good to know how would we know when the oil had gone rancid though <laughs> so I advise to apply this once a day ideally at bedtime and people are saying that this is great so comparing them side by side they've obviously both got really good stuff in for our skin I really like the way this side looks. I'm going to leave it a few hours to see how they sink in, to see if one side of my face looks really greasy all of a sudden, just in case you did want to use these during the day. So I will be back in a little while. It's been about three hours. I'm back. This time I'm wearing the dragon fruit version of the oil on my lips just to show you the difference, but I haven't touched my face so both sides of the face are still looking dewy both sides of the face feel equally soft this is the pie side this is the ordinary side so on face value i'd be saying they seem very similar to me save your cash and buy the ordinary instead of the more expensive pie however i did do some research during the last three hours about what is the big deal about having the fruit and the seed oil in here as opposed to just the seed oil? So the seed oil contains fatty acids which are good for our skin. The fruit oil contains vitamin A as well as fatty acids. So basically with this one you're getting the vitamin A in there as well. So another added ingredient. If you're anything like me you might have thought oh vitamin A does that have a contraindication for pregnant people? Because pregnant people are advised to avoid using retinol due to its vitamin A content. So what I've read online, not providing medical advice here, but my research basically said the studies that resulted in the advice against vitamin A retinol use during pregnancy were actually from those that had ingested vitamin A not those that had used it topically on the skin. People are advised to avoid it in retinol just as a precaution and the amount of vitamin A in a rose hip oil would be substantially less than that and apparently nowhere near any levels that would be bad for baby. So do with that what you will. Always speak obviously to your doctor or midwife about any concerns in that area. And then I also, while I was doing that research, I read that if the oil is the orange colour, like this one, it is likely to be unrefined. There's the orange pie. And it said if you have an oil that is yellow or paler in colour, like this ordinary one here, it is likely to be more refined and therefore will not last as long could be again due to that cold pressed extraction which does have some heat associated with it as well as some oxidation whereas the co2 method of extraction is not going to be exposing the oil to as much heat and obviously no oxidation so it did say this oil will last longer so quite interesting really i like both oils but i think my research has shown that this has you know it's got more ingredients in so there's the extra benefit of vitamin a in there too it has been less processed perhaps than this one which means it will last longer and retain more of those good nutrients I guess the only thing this has over and above this one is the UV protective bottle. I guess the orange tinted bottle might do some level of protection. We are still advised to store this one in a dark place. And of course the price. So 
This is approximately three times more than this one. It does have more benefits, I guess. If money is no option in your skincare budget, this one does seem to be the higher quality product. However, I really like this one too, and it's got those good fatty acids in the skin. So I like both of these products. I guess the, the highest quality one is definitely this one. This one's great value. So you can both, you can both stay in. My regimen and yes, this one I guess wins on quality. This one from the ordinary wins on price. Now I want to hear what you think. Do you use rosehip oil in your routine or rosehip seed oil in your routine? Which one of these would you buy if you had the choice? Do you think this higher quality oil is worth the additional price? Let me know everything down in the comments. I will link everything I mentioned today in the description. Subscribe and ring the bell if you'd like to see more product comparisons. I've done a few videos comparing affordable products to similar higher end products. I will link those videos down below. I compare, like I said, the Ordinaries Marula Oil with the Drunk Elephant Marula Oil and I compare a Beauty Pie clay mask to an Amara Vizia clay mask. I will say, in each instance so far, <laughs> I've kind of preferred the more expensive product, which is a bit annoying, but really interesting, I think, to compare the two. Both of these oils do get the thumbs up from me. However, it's just up to you, your skincare budget, your preference, which one you would want to go for. Thanks so much for being with me today and I'll catch you in the next one.